Good morning, Lakeside. Wow, the year's over. Amazing. I have a few other announcements. I just, one of my first announcements is, I think you all know, but hey, every single person in this building returned their books. I don't know any other school that did that. And I know a secret. It's not really a secret, but it's a good one. Lakeside circulated or checked out more books than any other school in Coppell. And brought them all back. You know why? Because Lakeside reader, leader, leaders are readers. That's right. You guys respect the library and it is part of everyday life. I'm very proud of everybody. That's awesome. I have some other people that I'm really proud of. I ran a report to see who was the top patron of our school, who checked out the most books. Are you ready? Here we go. So the top one, the absolute top person who checked out more books, 101 books, is in 3B, and that is Teresa. Yeah. All right. So the very next one is Vihan in 4D, and Sadika in 5B with 49 books. But Sadika, you had a little help there, because Claire in 2A also checked out 49 books. Evangeline in 1B checked out 45 books and then in kindergarten would you believe it I had a tie in the two classrooms that's crazy legend in K1 and Akshara in K2 and they both checked out 40 books and then in pre-K we had Shavaya and with 16 books in pre-K4 and Philip with 16 books in pre-K4 and Madeline in EC2 checked out 12 that's amazing that's absolutely amazing now here's something else you don't know I know which one was the top classroom who checked out what classroom checked out the most books all year are you ready Bum, ba, dum. 3b yep miss Bernard 3b they checked out 1998 books they really did. They really, really did. So, congratulations, Longhorn. Y'all did a fantastic job. But I want you to make sure that you keep reading this summer, okay? It's really, really important. Go to your public library and check out some books. And if you do their summer reading program, bring it to me. And I've got a prize for you when we get back in August. All right, everybody. Love you. So proud of our readers. Y'all are amazing. That's why Ms. Bryant hasn't retired yet because you guys are so amazing. I love coming to school. So keep reading. I'll see you around. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, with liberty and justice for all. Now the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. I am respectful to others, I am responsible for self, I am honest and kind, I will take the initiative and persevere. Follow us, we are Lakeside Longhorns. Have a thrilling Thursday. 
Good morning, Lakeside. It's time for Thinking Thursday. It's our last one of the school year, and I'm not just by myself today. You can see I've got a whole room of Lakeside Longhorns in here with me. These are all the Cuphill Gifted Association writing competition winners, and they are going to share a little bit of their writing with you today. So let me get out of the way. Our first winner is... What? Big, big a little boys. dwarf, pruned and cut, simple but complex, ornamental, young but old, twisted and turned, with years folded in branches, each fold telling a story, in abstract and traditional art, thick trunks, textured barks, and twisting of live and dead wood, a realistic depiction of nature looking so very real and unreal. Nice. Our next winner is... Hi, I'm Samaragi, and I wrote a poem called My Sandwich and Miss Brown. I was in Miss Crackle's writing class, wondering what to do, even though it was obvious I hadn't had a clue. So I took out a grilled cheese sandwich, and I started to chew. Suddenly, Miss Crackle rushed in and yelled, Miss Brown needs you! Uh, so I ran and ran down the fifth grade stairs to a deep sea colored like a bluegill. It was full of blue crayons. I guess pre-K had a crayon spill. <laughs> nice. And next we have? Um, hi, I'm Evan. I'm in fourth grade. And my story is called Esther's New School. After breakfast, my mom drove me to school. My hands were sweaty and my heart beated every one second. I waved goodbye to my mom and Gold. I walked to the door like a slow sloth. Finally, I reached the door. When I entered the building, I kept my head down. Everyone stared. Some even pointed and whispered. I felt my cheeks burning. I quickly walked into my class in embarrassment. When I walked into my classroom, a boy pointed at me. Then everyone swarmed around me. My heart melted. My legs turned into jelly. I did not like standing out like this at all. Everyone talked at once in English. I could not understand anything but hi. All I heard was blah, blah, blah. Everyone back to their seats, the teacher called out. Finally, a chance to walk in like a normal student. Nice. And next we have? Um, my name is Amelia. I'm in fourth grade. And I wrote a story called Squirt. Um, I pulled, I stuffed my hands in my pocket to find a weird foam looking thing. I pull it out of my pocket as I take a bite of my toast. I have to go to work, so you're here alone, okay? Aunt Iris says. I nod as she walks out the back door. When Aunt Iris is out the door, I pull out the phone thing again. Suddenly, a hologram of Mom appears through the phone. Next. Hi, my name is Liam. I'm in fourth grade, and my poem that I wrote was called Wyatt. My brother Wyatt is never quiet. I say he's annoying, but never boring. He's very loud. I'm very proud of my tiny brother Wyatt. I love him truly, I love him dearly, I love him with all my heart. With brown hair freckles everywhere, he's very tidy, maybe even extra small. My brother Wyatt is never quiet, very noisy, always crazy. He loves to play every day, but I love more than anything in this world. Thank you. And last we have? Hi, my name is Ethan, and I'm in fourth grade. I wrote a poem about citizens. Riding round across the year, seasons occur through every year. Some are nice and some are harsh, but one do the same. They are all enjoyable. Nice, 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 nice. You got to hear Longhorns. You got to hear samples of stories. Um, Amelia and Eden read just a little excerpt of their story. And you got to hear four poems. Um, and I thought they all did a fantastic job. All of these writers received the award of honorable mention in this competition. And I thought you might like to hear some writing tips for them. Do any of you guys have any tips for writing? Go ahead, start us off, Eden. Um, so I wrote my story because um, I came to Lakeside and I wasn't here since kindergarten. I came to a new school and I thought um, when you write stories, you can relate them to experience you've had and maybe other people can relate to the experiences you've had. Nice. Did anybody ever, anybody else use that tip? Well, uh, you can write off of your own experience and you could change the names as well if you want to keep, be private. Okay. I appreciate that. Anybody else have a tip? Go ahead, Amelia. So, um, my story is, um, about a girl who kind of escaped from reality 
So um, in this story, I used my imagination. So whenever you're writing a story and you want to be creative, I'd definitely um, say like uh, use all of your ideas and make it really imaginative. I love it. And anybody else? Go ahead, William. My tip is that if you're going to write something, you should write something like you care about or like because like you can add like more like more stuff you know about it and like it will make the story or poem better. Um, that's exactly what I heard when I listened to your stories. I heard lots of details and lots of descriptive writing. I couldn't be more prouder of that and the writing teachers who are supporting these young writers. Y'all are all doing a great job. Um, I hope that some of you will think about writing this summer. You could write fiction or nonfiction, try your hand at some poetry, but these guys have some great tips and a good idea. Um, fourth and fifth grade, this competition will hopefully be open again for you next year. So be thinking about um, if you would like to be a part of that writing competition. So to end the year up, this has been another good idea for some really great thinking with Mrs. Warren and all of you guys. Happy summer! Bye.